All right, let's talk the forecast now. We're thinking about Bloomsday. Maybe we're training for Bloomsday and for going outside. <laughs> well, I'm not training, but I know people are doing this. Oh, yeah, I've seen them. Yes. Well done. I'm, I commend you. I should be. Well, a lot of people have been doing it in really cold, cold weather. So any chance of a turnaround? I know the weekend's still looking pretty good. Weekend's still looking pretty good, but okay. when it comes to those temperatures, I'm kind of a fair weather runner and this just hasn't been it. So run in the afternoon is kind of the name of the game, but you might be dodging a few showers. Of course. Ah, uh, it's just a pattern that we can't shake. And the good news is it doesn't change next week either. Wait, is that? No. I was just checking some of the mountain cams. If you're under some of that snow in the mountain, it is coming down quite hard in many areas. But for us, it's another round of those afternoon showers, cool through the end of the week and warmer by the weekend. Not much changes. I feel like a broken record. I'm coming back up here and I'm saying, next two mornings, we are going to be down near freezing afternoon highs in the low 50s and then climbing up to near 60 both Saturday and Sunday. And by Monday, it's back down in the low 50s. It's a quick bump and then quick back down. Now, forecast models are starting to suggest that Sunday might not even be in the 60s, so there's that. What we are really dealing with the next couple of days is the fact that we clear out each night. Basically, clear skies, calm wind, and well, the cold on the ground is really helping to cool us down, so all of our heat escapes, radiational cooling, if you will. Overall, our weather pattern is still the same. We still have a trough way out to our west. We have a little bit of a ridge. We have a trough right over the top of us. And then look at this surge of warmth spreading through. I just uh, called the family in Minnesota. 85 degrees in Minnesota. Are you kidding me? They're not even sharing. Right now we have a few scattered showers popping up across the inland northwest, similar to what we saw yesterday. Notice we didn't have one of those ones going through north of town, right about near the Y. Have some of those going through Coeur d'Alene, right along Interstate 90. If you're under those, they're moving pretty quick, similar to what we've seen every day. But if you're traveling, say, east on Interstate 90 and you find yourself under that, you're going to notice it for a lot longer. It's just how it works. Now, as we move through the next couple of days, it is more of the same. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll see another round of those pop-up showers, but it does look like we start drying out just in time for the weekend. So by Saturday, things are looking much better. And Sunday, we're dry through at least the first half before that chance of rain returns to the forecast. So for us, it's temperatures climbing back up to near 60. And then next week, we take a dive. Forecast models already suggesting Tuesday might top out in the 40s, and I'm not fully against that. However, I don't want it to happen, so I put 50 on there. Okay. All right. Well, we'll look forward to at least the sunshine. Hey, it makes things a little bit better. Yeah. Jeremy, same. thank you.